All right, we're gonna be uh, making a winch today. So I'll show you how to do that. It shouldn't take but five minutes to make this thing, I hope, if everything goes well. Uh, we got a new product out, you've probably seen. Uh, it's called the Winch Master. And what this is is a winch controller, and it will turn, it'll take any uh, standard servo or a winch, existing winch that you have, and enable you to plug it into a channel and use it as a functioning winch. Uh, so, but today we're gonna work on the uh, normal winch and show you how to make it a, I mean, the normal servo and show you how to make it a winch. So this is a uh, Traxxas 2075X. And I usually um, take these right out of the machine because they don't, they don't last that long in a crawler. So I, I upgraded them with one of our servos for better performance. So we're going to take this new uh, servo that's been laying around and turn it into winch. Let me do that real quick, show you how to do it. Uh, number one is undo the screws in the back. So what we're going to have to do is to use the winch master, we're going to have to take the circuit board out of this which is actually pretty easy to do if I can do it in front of the camera. So that's what this one looks like inside. Uh, that's the circuit board. And then there's the motor and your two wires, uh, solder points that attach to the motor. So this is all fixed to the motor. So what we're gonna do is get that circuit board out of there. It's pretty simple. I usually take a flat blade screwdriver and add a little weight, see like that. I can do this with one hand to show you here. So I'll pry up just a little bit and then I'll take my soldering iron here. Let me uh, get some soldering iron on there. So I got my soldering iron. I'll just heat that up. There. So all I did is undo the solder tabs and uh, then this all comes out of there with the potentiometer and the wire and everything. So you discard that. And before we do anything else here, we're going to take the top off. There's one little mod you have to do in here. I'll show you. So there's the gear set. Now this is your stopper. And Normally the, the servo only goes, you know, 120 degree max, usually maybe 90. And this is a stopper to keep it from going past that. So since we're going to be using a winch going fully around, we're going to remove that stopper. Now, most of these, you can just take a pair of pliers, grab a hold of that thing and twist back and forth. You got to pull a little bit and pull it right out like that. So once you pull that stopper out, then that's all you have to do on this top part. So you can put it right back like that. Now we'll work on the back side. And what we're gonna do is hook, so we got the right one, a female JST like this, right out where the other wires came from. So you notice the red dot, that is your positive. So make sure we got a little solder there. Flip it around the positive side right here. Put that on there good and solid. Yep. Then we'll do the other side, the negative side. Alright, we get that on there. Make sure we clean our tip off. All right, so there we are. We got the two wire ends on there. We altered the top there. So now, now what you can do is use uh, hot glue or something and put over those if you want. And see which end here. Also, where the wires come out, you could fill it with hot glue or uh, electric grease or something like that. But these really don't have to be waterproof now. The only thing you keep 
water away from is your circuit board. The motor itself will run underwater, so that's really not a big concern. So now, put these screws back in. All right, there we have it. Now we have a winch, and I'll do a demonstration here and show you a demonstration in just a minute. But there is the winch now, the 2075X winch, and we'll be plugging the uh, winch master into it just like this. So there's your winch. This is the winch master. This will go to your receiver. And this will go to your battery for direct power. All right, we're back. And this is the winch we just made. So what I did is I took the uh, receiver end, the brown and orange, and I plugged it into the third channel. I'm using a, uh, a rugged DX5. And then I will take the power end, and this goes right to the battery, basically. Uh, we also have adapters, you know, that go to the balance port. But So I've already got a program for a winch, as I got here, using the Overlander wrench, winch. But this is uh, this would go in its place if you were doing it this way. So I'll show you it work. Just like that. So we took the normal 2075X servo steering servo and made it into a winch and it's a, it's going to be a pretty strong winch because we're running it off 12 volts uh, now this servo is not meant to run on 12 volts so I do not know how long it's going to last it's a normal servo so you probably want around uh, five to six volts all right I thought I would go ahead and show you uh, this other option so what I did was this was a two wire controller so one directly to your battery one to your uh, receiver so what i did is took the original end off of the control board that went to the tracks of servo i took the end off and i soldered it to the controller wires and i eliminated the black one you see the black one there i just cut it off and put it under the shrink wrap so you're going to be using the brown, orange, and red, and you hook that to the black, white, and red, just like that. And now you just have one wire to your winch, and you just plug this in to the receiver. Now the uh, Traxxas has that little tab that sticks out here, so a pair of nail, cl nail clippers. We'll uh, trim that right off so it'll fit in your like a spectrum receiver here. So I just plug that in now, just one wire. So now this is running on the voltage of the receiver, which is probably five or six volts. Now it's going to be slower and not as strong, but it should last a long time like this. So that is just another option. Easy way to make a winch. Doesn't take much time at all. All you need is the winch master from Three Brothers RC.